So what could you use a fluid cup this small for on an air gun? Well, let's find out. We're back at IWF 2016 in the SATA Spray Equipment booth with Jason Gravenhoff to learn about the company's glazing gun. Jason, tell us more about it. What we've got here is the SATA Jet 20B. And it's a great glazing gun. It's a great touch-up gun. It's almost in the family of an airbrush okay. where it's going to give you a very small round pattern. Uh, what we found with glazing back years ago is people would spray the whole panel and wipe off 98% of that glaze. Not the most efficient process in the world. Yeah. So with this and the design of this tip being angled like it is, they can really lay it in the profile and by adjusting the amount of air and the amount of fluid to get the right balance, they can just almost lay a bead in there, almost like a caulk gun would. So um, wasting a lot less glazing. Yep, you're just really applying it exactly where you want it. Hmm. Um, on bigger areas where you want more of a shading process, it still atomizes, so you can pull the gun back a few inches and get you know, the diameter of a pencil or a dime or a quarter or get an actual spray so you get a fade or a transition sure. line. Sure, sure. How big is the cup on top of the... Uh, this one we've got a 65 cc or basically two ounces. Um, mm -hmm. We can go up from there uh, to three ounces, six ounces, uh, up to a 0.9 liter, which was more than you'd want to put on a gun this size. So an end user just has to unscrew it to yep. replace and, and put yep. a larger cup it's on It's just top. threads on and you can go to a different cup size. Uh, we've even had some production facilities that do a low pressure feed where they can do gallons upon gallons. So wow. it's a real flexible, flexible little gun. Um, doesn't require much air. Mm -hmm. um, we also sell a lot of these spray guns into the repair world. Okay. Uh, where they're doing on-site touch-ups and just a tiny little compressor available. Sure. Uh, we only need one to two CFM and five to 30 PSI. It's really kind of set it for the job that you're doing depending on the size. So you're not limited to glazing. You could use this for hobbyist purposes or absolutely, or, uh, really any anything you want to use. Yep, anytime we're talking spray guns, a big part of it's getting the right nozzle size in it. Mm -hmm. um, so for a real low viscosity stain, we're going to want to be down maybe at a 0.5 millimeter. Mm -hmm. um, a high viscosity clear, we might want to be up at a 1.0. Mm -hmm. Still the same gun, just different in sides basically sure. different nozzle components to it but it can handle it can handle any of those products water or solvent or touch up or so anything you want to put in there and spray you're good to go yep yep yep, yep. the nozzle components are stainless steel you've got a stainless needle and tip you've got a plated brass air cap you have a gun body that's aluminum but it's mm -hmm. uh, chrome plated so you don't have to worry about one product right. you're putting through it. It's not going to have any negative effect. And it's German engineered. Yep. All yep. of our products are made in Germany. Um, I work for Dan Am Company. We're the U.S. importer and distributor Great. for SADA here in the U.S. So. Now, if, if our viewers would want to learn more about not only this glazing gun, but your other uh, air gun products, what's your website? We are www.sada.com. Doesn't Great. get much easier than that.